So rain showers continuing through the rest of the morning and afternoon. Eventually the rain will be letting up towards this evening and those high temperatures will be in the mid 50s. So by then at least it'll feel more like a warm kind of rain, but then more rain is going to be picking up for tonight and also the wind. So we're really going to notice that tonight and heading on into tomorrow. Colder air will be filtering in starting tonight and then lasting on into tomorrow as well. So that actually might be transferring over into a few flurries for tomorrow morning. And then we're watching for a few lake effect for tomorrow afternoon. So how much rain are we going to be seeing? Well, I'm thinking most areas across the valley are going to be about a quarter up to a half inch, whereas the higher totals are going to be the further south you go. They could see a little bit more than a half inch of rain, possibly up to three quarters. So just widespread rain here on our future tracker pushing the clock forward. This is when we're going to get our break in the day. If you want to know when the rain is starting to come to an end, please download our free Storm Twin 27 weather app in your Google Play and app stores. Now we're pushing the clock forward, heading into our evening. Cloudy skies, few light rain showers are going to be around. Best time to take that evening walk, but keep in mind everything's going to be wet. Going into the overnight hours, round two of the rain. Here we go, windy conditions, and now we're starting off for your Monday morning. Might have a few flurries flying around, but most of the rain should be wrapped up by then. And now going on into Monday afternoon, well, that's where we're going to have to start throwing the chance for a few lake effect. And keep in mind, Lake Erie is no longer frozen over, so the chances for a lake effect are going to go right back up. But then clouds clear out Monday night, heading into Tuesday. Sunshine, but cooler temperatures for your Tuesday afternoon. That's going to be the best time to get that car wash because that's going to be the first day of our dry stretch. But if you're looking for that little bit of winter, how about morning lows for Tuesday morning in the mid teens? But it's going to be staying on the colder side for most of this week with the exception of Wednesday. That's going to be the warmest day after today. And I know we were talking about potentially having some warmer temperatures towards the end of the week, but now models are backing off on that and are actually saying that we actually could have highs only in the upper 30s towards the end of the week with scattered clouds really around. So hopefully you still have that winter gear because you're going to be needing it, but make sure you have the layers on for today because it's still a cold rain out there for right now. But eventually after the rain is done for today and tonight and we get through the snow tomorrow, we should be on a dry stretch on into next weekend.